court named Meghan again over steel proof for bullying scandal exposed as Harry's recent appearance. Prince Harry is more relaxed in his new life after his privacy was invaded, a body language has claimed. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle announced they were stepping back as senior working royals in March 2020 to move to the US where they now live with their two children, Archie, two, and Lilibet, who was born last year. Since moving across the pond, the couple has remained relatively silent. But, last week, Harry gave an appearance for Better Up, an organization he is chief executive for. Royal fans were quick to point out the Duke's appearance saying he looks well and glowing. Body language expert Darren Stanton agreed, pointing out that, before he left for the US, Harry photos and videos showed signs of anxiety and stress. While, Meghan Markle's distinctly American approach to getting things done led to a culture clash and the bullying allegations she's faced from former staffers, a royal author said. Christopher Anderson, author of Brother and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan, told Insider the purported issues between the Duchess of Sussex and some of her former staff in the royal household were just a culture clash. Particularly within the royal household they're very indirect in the way they do things, Anderson said. The kind of plain-spoken, upfront personality, distinctly American approach that Meghan has to getting things done just rubs them the wrong way. Speaking, Mr. Stanton added, his family's privacy had been invaded in his eyes, his close relationships, like that with his brother, had been impacted by internal squabbles and there was a lot of expectations on his shoulders to be the husband, father, and royal that many expected him to be. However, in the most recent images of Harry, he looks a lot more relaxed. He looks healthier overall. In the clip of him speaking at the Better Up event last week, his shoulders looked more set, showing a lack of tension and rigidness. His smile seemed authentic and he looked a lot more comfortable in himself. Prince Harry was announced as the chief impact officer for Better Up in March 2021. Harry joined a panel with Serena Williams and Alexi Robico, Better Up co-founder and CEO, to discuss mental health. During the virtual appearance, he gave some insight into his life in California. Allegations that the Duchess of Sussex bullied members of staff surfaced in a Times of London report in March. At the time, two senior staffers said they'd been bullied, one aide said they'd been humiliated by Markle, and another said their experience with her felt more like emotional cruelty and manipulation. A spokesperson for Markle and Prince Harry told the publication she was saddened by this latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who has been the target of bullying herself and is deeply committed to supporting those who have experienced pain and trauma. Lawyers representing the Sussexes told the publication the allegations were being used by Buckingham Palace to peddle a wholly false narrative. In response to the article, Buckingham Palace opening an investigation into the bullying claims. In Brothers and Wives, Anderson writes that the Sussexes began to realize that courtiers known as the Men in Grey were briefing newspapers with negative stories about Markle to boost reputations of other members of the royal family. It was clear to Harry and Meghan that the Men in Grey were spreading much of the salacious gossip to bolster the reputations of more important members of the family, principally the Cambridges, he wrote in the book. Anderson, who has spent years covering the royals and written six books on the topic, also referenced Markle's Oprah Winfrey interview, in which the Duchess of Sussex claimed that it was Middleton who made her cry before her wedding to Harry, and not the other way around, as UK tabloids had reported the way 